Hi guys, welcome to this quick review of this Canon PIXMA TR8600 series. And during this video, I'm also going to show you and explain you why I bought this printer, because I think it's a very, very unique printer. There's something super special. If you want to save a lot of money, then make sure that you stay tuned till the very end of the video. That's the 8620 and the 8622A, which are exactly the same thing. So what we have here is of course the scanner here on top. So we can close that if we need that. And we can open that as a flat bed scanner, but we can of course also use it like that. It has automatic paper feed. Then something in the back. I'm not going to show you everything in the back, but we have here also another paper feeder. Yeah, we can pull it out here. Maybe for some special paper or so. Put it back. Here. But the main paper is feeded here from the front. The paper tray is not very thick, I would say. So if you need thousands of paper, maybe that's not enough. But if you just need a little bit every now and then, this is definitely still okay. Then on top we have the output here for the paper. So that needs to be like that. So after printing, the paper is coming out and then it sits here on top. Here we have a touch screen to control everything. It has to be opened. Without opening that, it won't work. So this is just for storing transportation. So when we want to work or print, we have to leave it open like that. It's a quite sensitive touch screen. So it's absolutely no problem. You can see, I can push here, give some information, for example, ink levels or so, system information. We have even a quick guide. I'm not going to show you everything here, but I'm going to show you how to connect to Wi-Fi. So I have reset now everything you can see. It says reset all. So I click here on OK. So let's go back. So important thing is also the device setting. Here we have some other printer settings. And what I highly recommend to turn off is the sound, of course. Keep at volume so we can turn it off. Something I highly recommend. Then maybe also something to consider energy saving. I think by default it turns off every six hours or so. But of course, if you have it in a very central location, maybe you want to have it always on. So we click on next. You can see the auto power off is on 240 minutes, which means four hours. You can select different things or put it on never. I hope you can see that it's a little bit difficult with this camera here. But I have it now on never. We have also power auto on. You could, you could turn it on in the morning and then turn it off in the night evening or so but here i want to leave it on all the times so click on ok these are the mo two most important things i have found then of course we want to connect it to the wi-fi we see this uh, icon here we have the option of a wired LAN, wireless direct or normal wi-fi and click on wi-fi enable disable wi-fi so we have to enable that takes a little bit of time now let's go back. So we click on Wi-Fi again. So we use the Wi-Fi setup. Of course, you can also use WPS if you have a button on your router. But here in this case, I go with the manual connect. Of course, I have to blur this a little bit. So I click on manual connect and it will show the whole list of available hotspots. So I click here. So I select the Wi-Fi which I want to connect. Because it has multiple routers, I say use multiple routers. And now I can enter here the password. Here on the left side, we can switch between normal characters, special characters and numbers. And so let's see what it's doing. It says connecting to wireless router. Click on OK. Let's go back here. And you can see it's connected. It doesn't show any problems or so. It really looks like it's normal connected to the Wi-Fi now. I've seen some people reporting about problems connecting to Wi-Fi. I've done this now a couple of times and I never had some real issues. And so here I'm showing you how to set it up on Windows 11. But I guess it's pretty much the same for all the Windows versions. So here we are in the File Explorer. So we hit the Windows and the E key at the same time. And on the left side, I have to hide this a little bit, but of course you can still see that here on the left side, down. 
almost fully down we have this network icon and when you have your printer on but it's not showing your printer here then you have to probably click on this yellow field here it's saying network discovery is turned off network computers and devices are not visible click to change so you click just here and then we can choose to turn on network discovery and file sharing that's really important so we click on yes turn on network discovery and file sharing then we wait for a little bit and now you can see the printer and everything which is publicly available on your network and now we hit the windows key again and type printer so we click here on printer and scanners then something which is really important down here in the printer preferences I would highly recommend to turn on this one here which says let window manage my default printer I've tried this also without and I haven't been able to install this printer so I would highly recommend to turn this on before you add this printer so we click now here on add device and you can see it has already found it and so I click here on add device it says connecting it takes a little bit of time, can be a couple of minutes depending on the speed of the computer and the speed of the internet connection. But the really awesome thing with this printer is that Windows can install the drivers automatically so you don't have to go to the Canon website and download the driver. That's a huge advantage compared to some older printers. Now you can see it says ready, we have also this one here. And so I'm here on a printer color test page where I just clicked on color test printing and when I click here it starts almost immediately to print. Maybe you can hear that. I click on print and about one second later it starts to print. You can see that here how it's printing printing really fast and I would say in really good quality of course this is not the highest quality this is just the normal high speed printing but you can see colors are really nice everything really good also black and white printing good I haven't done a lot of scanning but normal printing has been working really really good with some older printers you have that the printer is doing some maintenance before you start printing here you can hear it's doing that after printing that's also a huge advantage so whenever I have been clicking on printing it started right away to print and all the maintenance everything started only after that and we do not only have a really good printer in a very low price range but we have also a huge advantage with this printer it's one of the very few new printers which still allow to buy third party ink you can see that here that's not from Canon that's only I think 10 or 12 dollars or so for the full set really really nice with a lot of new printers you have to buy the original ink cartridges which sometimes can be very very expensive and so that's also a huge advantage here very hard to find such combination of new good printer in low price which still allows for third party ink to buy and use i really love it i think it's a pretty cool printer easy to set up easy to use and so from my side full recommendation and so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out on dory drive from there if you like it and i hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.